In this video, using precision modeling, we will make this design using the polyline tool. The coordinates have been given over here. I will simply restore my screen so that I can see both the designs at the same time. Just the top view, I'll be drawing in the top view. Okay, so I'll start at x coordinate 11 comma 0, enter. So I have 11 comma 0. I want to draw the top line and then I plan to take a mirror on the opposite direction. On the right will be positive, left will be negative. I want my line to go left, so relative minus 2 comma 2, enter. It's plotted at minus 2 comma 2. Now I need to go straight 6 mm. The dimensions are given over here, 6 mm. So relative. I need to go uh, x coordinate will be 6 mm and the y coordinate will be 0 because I want to draw a straight line and I go enter so again straight so again relative 1 comma and I want the line to come down so that will be minus 1 enter there you go now again I want to draw the straight line from here and the dimension is 11 mm so relative x coordinate 11 comma y coordinate 0 enter there you go now again I want to draw a vertical line up x coordinate will be 0 and y coordinate will be 1 because it's a vertical line enter and then finally I want the arrow to come down that would be again 6 mm so relative 6 mm x axis and it should go down that will be minus 2 enter once I'm done, I can simply press the enter button and my line is made. I will select the arrow and I will take a mirror mirror, and mirror on the X axis. There you go. So now we have two lines. I will select both of them and I'll simply say join enter. So now they are one is converted into a closed curve. Let me explain you the same drawing using paint so that you get a better understanding because it's very important for you to understand coordinates. First, I told you under taking a graph paper, if you say starting at 11 comma 0, so if this is a graph paper and 11 comma 0, that is your x coordinate will be 11 and y coordinate 0. So you'll be plotting it on the x axis itself. Now considering this particular point to be 0, 0.0, the first thing is that you want to draw a vertical line, which is 2 mm. Okay, so if I say, so the x coordinate will be 2 over here. But x coordinate 2 will take it on the right hand side. The main thing is that you have to consider this point to be 0, 0.0. So I will again draw this. Now if here I have a line and if this point is your 0, 0.0 and you want your coordinate to appear over here. So the x coordinate will have to be minus. It will not be plus. So in that case your x coordinate is minus 2. So that means that the line will appear on the left hand side. And at the same time you want it vertically at 2. That's how we have minus 2 comma so minus 2 comma 2 will plot the line vertically at an angle then from here we wanted it to go straight 6 mm so I will again draw a graph and assuming you want again taking this point to be 0, 0.0 and you want to draw a straight line so that will again have to be relative now x coordinate will have to be 6 so because you want to draw a straight line and your y coordinate since vertically you are not doing anything will again have to be 0 so that's how relative 6 comma 0 was the next then after that you see it's coming down by 1 mm I can see from here it's going up by 1 mm it's coming down by 1 mm so let's say again I draw a graph okay again it's relative to your 0, 0.0 so again consider this point to your 0, 0.0 and if you want a line to come vertically down first is it's on the right hand side or left hand side it's on the right hand side so your x coordinate will be positive 1 because I'm I want to go 1 because it's on the right hand side comma and your y axis if I give positive it will go it will go up but here you want to draw the line down so I will give minus 1 so that's the reason the next coordinate was relative 1 comma minus 1 so that took care of this line now coming to this part I again I'm drawing an axis Again, 
consider yourself to be at 0.0, .0 and you want to draw a straight line from here at the measurement of 11, I will again say relative, this time 11 for the x axis and 0 for the y axis because you want to draw a straight line. Let's say again if I draw my axis and this time I want to draw a line which is straight up. Now if you see over here, your x coordinate will be 0 itself and your y coordinate is 1 over here. So that's why over your relative, we took it as 0 comma 1. Why? Because you wanted to draw a straight line. I'm referring to this line which goes to relative up. Now again, you want to draw a line which is now 6 mm which goes vertically down. So your x coordinate, so again I will write relative and now let's, I'll be taking this, this graph for example, I want to draw a line like this. So again, are you in the positive side of x or negative side of x? You're on the positive side of x. So this is the positive side of x. This is the negative side of x. So you're on the positive side. But for the y axis, this is your positive and this becomes your negative. So you want to plot it negatively. So that will be relative 6 comma at a distance of minus 2 is pointing at minus 2. So basically what I've tried to do is I have tried to explain each and every coordinate which we have plotted at. You have to understand that when you're going to a relative, whichever point you are at, you have to consider that specific point to be your 0.0, .0 which is your origin. I hope this explanation has made it a little easy. I would request you to again try to make the same drawing without the video. Practice it because it's very important for you to get a proper understanding of precision modeling. Thanks for watching.